Two more. Okay, three more. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Is it lifting the car? Yes. That seat ain't even moving. Ain't even moving. Wouldn't this be a great time for today's sponsor, Hims, for erectile dysfunction? Oh no! Uh, there's mold spores. Look at all the white mold spores. All that white you're seeing, that's mold. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are finally coming back to the Cadillac Elante. The 1992 Cadillac Elante that I won from Copart flooded halfway up to the doors for, it was like $800, $1,400 out the door after fees and everything. And it drove all the way back from Florida to Oklahoma. So the car has already proven itself. And because of that, I decided we're going to continue on with it and really try to bring her back to life. So here she is, and I have big dreams and goals for today, but it's probably never going to happen. Like, you know, this is how cars go. You you want to get something done, but you always bite off more than you can chew. Well, maybe not. I, I think I've got a little too much on my plate today. The main goal, which is why Santa's Workshop is here, is to figure out how to get these seats out. I've got a plan. He's got a plan. I like his plan so far, because he's already... He already looks like he's got something going on here. That seat would be a little bit easier because that one is lifted up pretty high off the ground. Unfortunately, none of these other seats. Yeah, the motors are dead. The leather is beautiful. I don't want to ruin the seats at all. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually considering a parts car. Ah. Because I need, the headlights are bad. I need to replace those. There's lots of little doodads here and there that need to be replaced. And... Parts for this car are expensive. You got one out. That's one less we gotta cut. Oh, you smell that? That uh that smells good down here, doesn't it? Oh yeah. It smells smells like Hurricane Ian, that's what it smells like. What's bad is I stick my hand under here and it's damp. So really? Or, you know that word that everybody hates. Moist. Yeah. <laughs> well, these seats have gotta come out because we gotta pull the carpets out and uh I don't know how far we're going to get today, guys, but here's my ideas. I got new window motors. I'd like to get the window motors in. I'd like to get the door panels back together. That would be nice. Everything works. We just got to plug the, the, the motors in for the windows, and then we'd have working windows. These door panels are a serious pain in the backside, so it'd be nice to get those installed. It'd be great to get the seats out, get the carpet out so I can pressure wash it and get everything in here cleaned up. And from there, I don't know if there's really much more I can do today. Um, today is February 17th, so it's my birthday. And I'm not even supposed to be down here working, but I had to get this video out for you guys. I'm really looking forward to getting this car finished, and we're not far from it, despite how all of this looks. It's getting there. And Michael did something awesome. I got to show this to you. We have been fighting getting the key out of this car since we got it. Monkey Wrench Mike and I had to leave the key in it, but take a look at this. It's the key. And he's responsible for it. So I'm responsible for a lot of stuff. <laughs> well this is this is good. You're you're no you're notorious for being responsible for bad things, but this is a good one. Huh, okay. No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh you cut your arm. Again? Really? Again, yeah. <sighs> this you can see. Oh, yeah, you've torn yourself up working on that Corvette. Oh, jeez. In case anybody missed the video, which I shared it 
And if you didn't go see it, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Instead of just putting a link to your channel, I'm gonna put the link to that Corvette video. Oh, that'd be awesome. Down below. Go check him out and then subscribe to his channel because he took that thing completely apart. I mean, motor, trans, everything. You even took the, the axles and everything out of it. No, I didn't take the axles out. Oh, you did? Was that the drive shaft? Uh, drive shaft. Yes. Drive shaft. Okay, I thought I pulled the axle out of it. Go check out that video where he took that thing from torn apart and he got it all back together. And I'm not going to tell you if it runs or not, but you know what? Some of my some of my subscribers are going to get down there and blow it. They will. They're going to get down. I, I already know. Whatever. But well, go. Okay. I'll I'll just, I'll just go ahead and blow it. It runs. <laughs> but you got to go listen to that thing. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. Definitely go check them out. Link is below. And I'm going to show you real quick the trick to this because I've actually I I know a couple people that can't get their key out of their Elante. Ah. Nobody can figure it out. I couldn't figure it out. He walked in here and was like, no, 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 here. He took this screwdriver right here. We also noticed that the uh, the transmission would not lock into park anymore. Right. It was just free, but look at this. It's locked into park now. You can put the key in. Look at those gauges. Oh. And then you can take the key out. Now, what I don't know is if you, yeah, see, ah, there it goes. Something's. Yeah, it's that, it's that catch hanging. Okay. That lever is still. And now it's, out. now the key won't come out. There is a little, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> that is so annoying. You're not going to take it up with the third either. Huh? Yeah, yeah you, you should be able to, you should be able to. Right here. There's a there's a cable that comes out at the bottom, not this top one. Down at the bottom over here, there's another cable that runs up, and that is responsible for releasing the transmission so you can shift, but also releasing the key. And what he did is he just make sure this is up here in park. He got under here and just kind of, would you just kind of pry on it yep. like that? Cool. There it is. <laughs> there it is. And then, voila. Right out. Now we know. I'd like to just disconnect that damn cable. Um, it is very tight in here because it had been flooded. So getting this thing to move up and down is kind of a bear, but we got the key out. All right, let's see if we can get these seats out, guys, because that is really the next big feat that we need to accomplish so that we can get this smell out of this car. All right, so I found something. This was buried behind the seat and I thought this is the seat controller and then we ran this number and Michael found out this is not the seat controller <laughs> and I, I forgot you had the battery unhooked that's why I'm not getting it <laughs> are you trying <laughs> yeah I disconnected the battery because I didn't want to go spraying a bunch of uh, contact cleaner and stuff this is for the suspension and I don't know how well you guys can see let me put a brighter light on here so you can see what I'm looking at. So I'm guessing the suspension wasn't functioning, but the car drove perfectly fine. Can you guys see? Maybe at that angle right there. Look down in there and look, you can see how bad those connectors are. So if nothing else, that at least needs to be cleaned up. Let's see if we can pop this cover off. And how bad is it? That is the question. Actually, this doesn't look bad at all. Delco products. Let's see if I can get under a little bit of light here. That doesn't look bad. I mean, there is a little bit of corrosion. I'll need to hit it with a soft bristle brush. This control board may actually be okay. That'll be that'll be a miracle. Let me get this. Oh, there we go. The bottom piece. That actually it looks fine. There's, I see a lot of corrosion down here in the corner, but not bad. This, it's got a little LED light too, so when we plug it in, we should be able to see if she powers up. I'm gonna clean this up, and I'm gonna clean the connectors as well. We'll plug it back in and we'll see if we can get it to blink or flash or turn solid, something. Maybe this thing can be salvaged. All right, now I'm working on some miscellaneous relays that you cannot find at the auto parts store. You gotta order this stuff online. And uh, these relays in particular are not cheap. I found them used 
they're like 40 50 dollars used apparently these are like a dying breed of relay or something i don't know anyway this was underwater i've cleaned it up pretty good it actually looks halfway decent um, we've got the motherboard plugged in which apparently only goes to the suspension which truly isn't anything super uh, important right now but these relays i don't know what they go to it's hard to see but there's a whole wire here there's a relay right there, and this is where the one I just took off goes. I gotta clean those connectors up as well. Then I gotta pull this relay assembly off, and I gotta clean this one up as well, and we'll plug it back in. Again, I don't know what it goes to. Um, there is another connector right here. Maybe I can unplug that without, no, I can't. I already poked a hole in my finger with a freaking screwdriver, but I'll come back and I'll unplug, come on. Urgh! I'll unplug that connector and we'll see if there's any corrosion in it. I don't know what these go to, but I want to clean up all the electrical connectors that were underwater. All right, are you guys ready for this? We're so close to getting the seats out, but so, so far. <laughs> <laughs> so I got the, the back bolts off of that seat and Michael got the front seat cushion seats off of that seat. Then I got the front uh, rail bolts out of this seat but you can't get to the back ones of this one, and you can't get to the front ones of that one. The rails are covering it, and you can't move them. Uh, we've already, Michael, I should say, has already tried disconnecting the cables to the motors. Yeah, they're froze. They're frozen solid. Yeah. So you can't even spin the cables to get it to move. I mean, cables are loose, but the screw that moves it back and forth. Gone, probably, yeah. yeah Gone. Okay, so that leaves us in a very precarious situation where there's not much more that can be done and yes we took the back off of this seat too we thought maybe if we could get this seat to lean forward we'd have a little it's just there's nothing guys they're in the water line look how high that sucker was you could see the rust all the way up here yeah um i say at this point break them yeah we're, we're gonna have to i mean as long as we can can preserve the cushions yep you can get a couple of just wore out suckers when we put the cushions on the new frame. Yep, so that's the idea. We're just we're just gonna have to break them out or they're not gonna come out. Yeah. And and there's no choice. The seats have to come out because I gotta get the carpet out so I can get it cleaned up and clean up the pan of the car and everything to make it, it smells god awful. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's bad, it's real bad. So I think the best way to break them is, <laughs> he'll give you a quick demonstration. Yeah, and that's what we're both going to be doing. We're just gonna just hopefully bend the metal until Pop goes the weasel and something gives. All right, he's got his side. Let me start on my side. Boy, my side doesn't move at all. <laughs> this, this is gonna take a while. Let me put the camera down and we'll continue rocking away. Like I'm the, I'm the hero here. <laughs> you didn't do nothing. This is all me. Oh, are we recording this on camera? Is it? <laughs> I, I broke it. We'll show you how bad it is. I broke it good. He loosened it up though. In all fairness, that one on the driver's side is gonna be even worse than this it, one. It, it makes me upset. That this is aluminum. Yes. Because I should have been able to rip that right out of the floor. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> For sale, one 1992 Cadillac Alante. Just need to bolt the seats back down. They're good there to go. go. Oh, what was that? That was a plastic chunk. I don't know what it was. I need a parts car desperately bad. Ooh, it's all wet. Oh yeah, it's, it's nasty. What are you holding on to down there, man? Oh, she's broke, come on now. That thing is all broken up. 
it shouldn't even be holding on anymore. There it is. Uh, yeah, come on. Uh, see, Michael, that's how you do it right there. Okay. All right. Now that you know how to do it, and I showed you, go you could you could do the you. driver's seat. Go go that way. There we go. I get to do the driver's seat, eh? <laughs> yeah. Can you loosen it up? <laughs> All right, so against his better judgment, I've made an executive decision that I'm not pissing with this thing anymore. I am about sick and damn sure tired of dealing with this. So my idea is we're gonna try to wrap that. He's shaking his head no. I think we're gonna rip this son of a gun straight out of the car. We're gonna rip something all right. Oh, something's ripping. As long as <laughs> if the seat comes out, I don't even care what it is anymore. I, what, it's what, six past six o'clock at night? Yeah. I got food, cake, and everything waiting for me at home. This seat's coming out. I'm done. <laughs> so we're, we're going to take this engine hoist, and I'm going to wrap this rope around it in the seat, and I'm just going to go for it. Send. Full send. You think it'll work? I'm withholding my opinion. I think it'll work. Comment below right now if you think <laughs> this rope and this engine hoist is going to pull that seat out. Let me hook you guys up. I want you in a safe place where you're not going to get hurt. All right. We're, we're past the point of caring anymore. Well, <laughs> okay. I'll take full responsibility. Uh-oh. For what's about to happen here. Do we need to go up a little more? Uh, yeah, we're like right here. Yep. There you go. So, this is going to go one of two ways. Either the seat's going to come out, or the floor is going to come out. Either way, the seat will eventually come out. Here we go. Are you guys ready? What? This seat's going to be tore up come on <laughs> is it lifting the car yes it's lift oh my god it's <laughs> off the ground yet? almost dude if this thing snaps, what's going to happen? That seat's going to go fly upwards. How high? High enough. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, this is... This is, even for me, this is becoming a little too sketchy, man. God, they're so sketchy. Dude, the car is off the ground. Oh, you're kidding. No, come over here, show them the car is off the ground. I heard the tires squeaking. Yeah, I mean, the car is off the ground. <laughs> wow. That seat's only held in with two bolts. That's all that's in there is two bolts. In aluminum. In aluminum. <laughs> I think the seat's given. Something's given. Oh, that seat is folded up, dude. I think I destroyed it. Oh, well, I mean, as long as the as long as the cover and foam is okay, which you know you can. Don't let the tears. It's good. So we're taking turns. Doing this number. Looks familiar. Anybody right? This will tell you. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have we've really torn up the seat at this point. Uh, it is what it is, man. At this point it deserves it. Yeah, I don't even I'm past the point of even caring anymore. I just want the seat out. And if I have to, I'll buy a parts car or something. I don't know. 
Did it go? No. Ah. Oh. She's a stubborn old gal. I'll give her that. She's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Did I? Yeah. Damn it. We've broken things. <laughs> <laughs> we've... We've broken a lot of things. We've broken things. We scratched the head. <laughs> uh, and I'm... I'm I'm about done. So this seat's gotta come out, man. Come on, baby, come on. Here we go again. Ooh. Come on. Really? Dude, the whole back of the car is in the air. Again. Again? Look, this damn thing is bending. Yeah. This is only rated at a thousand pounds right now. Yeah. And uh, we've got the whole. Is your side of the back in the air or just mine? Not quiet. Not quiet. <laughs> Not quiet. I mean, it, mine is four inches in the air. It's, uh, it wouldn't take much more. That seat ain't even moving. Ain't even moving. <sighs> I. <laughs> One seat. There's gonna be somebody out there in YouTube lands gonna say, you know, you did it wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, okay. I am open to suggestions. <laughs> Hey, me too, because chances are very slim at this point. I think this seat's actually going to come out tonight. Uh, unfortunately, like it's probably 7, 7.30 now. Uh, it's an hour for me to go home. Dinner's... 6.49. 6 6.40, okay, so almost 7. It'll t I get home at 8, and I've got time for cake and... Ooh. 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 <laughs> Tim Allen. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. I'm going to tell you this. If you get in a wreck in one of these, you will not come out of that seat. No. That seat will not come out of the car. You will die in the car in that seat before the, the, the seat comes out of the car and ejects you. I'm gonna jack it a little bit. <coughs> this, oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. In. <laughs> it ain't working. <laughs> Wouldn't this be a great time for today's sponsor, Hymns, for erectile dysfunction? <laughs> if. If you have ED or losing your hair or low testosterone, I'd like to introduce you today. No, I really don't have a sponsor today. I, I'm telling you, I ain't got ED or none of that. I don't need, I don't need no pills. This car has tested my stamina today. Oh. I forgot the Aston Martin was over there. I really almost threw that. I don't, I'm not a thrower. I don't throw things. I don't throw things. I, 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 was, I was ready to let that and I saw the, I saw the ass there and I was like, whoa, Nelly. We better, we better not do that. I'm, I'm so, I'm, I'm pretty pissed. What a stupid design. Scrap, I'm ready to scrap the car for parts. We can have some fun with this one. Okay. I keep hoping this thing's gonna pop off on video. The money shot. It ain't gonna do it, I don't think, guys. So instead of wasting y'all's time, I'll uh I'll continue jacking with this thing. <laughs> and if something happens, we'll come back. Alright, so here's what we got going on.
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the engine hoist putting enough tension on the seat to hold up, but not enough to pop this thing out and blow my hands apart when I break the the bolt out of the floor here. That's hold. This is holding the seat up. Then we got this an old air hammer that I haven't used in forever, and we'll try to get under there where that bolt is. And I'm gonna kind of just try to hammer on it till hopefully it comes off. Till something happens. Well, yeah, something is bound to happen, or maybe nothing will happen. Hell, I don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're already sawing through the bolt. Cool. Should I have gloves on? <laughs> Whew. That's some of those grade 20 seat bolts. <laughs> you ain't kidding. <laughs> wow. I How far through have you got? Uh, a little over halfway. You want to put some tension on it, see if it'll pop? Hold on. Let me get just a little more, a little more ugga dugga. Twist your barrel. Wow. Dude, look what it... Holy mackerel. <laughs> <laughs> this is great, man. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's... Dude, this thing should be popping any second now. Put some tension on it. These suckers, they don't, they don't budge. No. Let's see if we did any good. <laughs> Here we go. Car is coming up off the ground again. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, the GoPro did what the GoPro does best. I didn't tell them that I've been back and forth between the DJI and the GoPro, trying to see if y'all would notice. I'm not sure anybody has, but we've been on the GoPro for a while and I forgot that it likes to overheat and shut off and, and delete files. You just witnessed it. Yeah. Fun. Come on, GoPro. Fun. Get, get your act together. Yeah, four ninety nine a camera Fun. for the, for the pleasure of this. Now, Santa's workshop was kind enough. I do have a grinder battery powered grinder but i held the grinder and hey. he proceeded to grind that sucker away a grinder's a grinder <laughs> that sucker's sharp yep like that is sharp so i'm gonna hand the camera over to him and i got a feeling we're gonna bust this off this time y'all dirty minded people out there already know it's a bolt not a nut. yeah it's a it, it is in fact the <laughs> bolt not nut all right Am I running out of juice? Yep. It ain't hitting there as hard as it was. All right, you can stop it. That's okay, you're up and going. Look at what it did to your fresh, your fresh blade. Yep. All right, we turned the uh, PSI up to about 200. I think this is rated for 120. I I don't know. We're gonna, the the air compressor is at 150 right now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna hit it. See what happens. Wow. Oh. Is it going? Now? Oh, it's on steroids right there. It's having a hard time cutting through this. It really is. Here's your blade. There it is. Did I just feel something pop? There it is. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Woo! <laughs> oh. Wow. What? One more to go. 
<laughs> one, one more to go. The head of the bolt is yeah. already ripped mostly out of the of the seat. It's actually still in there. So we might be able to save that one. Oh wow. Alright, get give her a little more. I, I think she's about to pop. Come on. Woo! Uh 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 Oh no. Yep. And there goes the windshield. Who could have saw that coming? Not a... Oh, man. I am so sorry. Oh, it's not your fault. I know, but still. It knocked out, this is what's crazy, it knocked out the lenses for these lights. It broke the piece that holds it in right there and the lenses, one of them ended up up there. The other one I threw up there with it, but yeah. And it took out the windshield and it did a nice, right in the driver's line of sight too, just oh, yeah. straight down, so that's nice. Got the steering wheel a little bit. It cut this up pretty good right here, but uh, and look, here's the crazy thing. The bolt is still in it. That bolt is still there. How? I, I, I don't know. This one? I I don't I don't even understand. But now we can see why this why this car smells so bad. Yeah. It is covered in nasty mold and stuff. We've got to get this carpet out. All this stuff back here out. Uh, there's mold spores. Look at all the white mold spores. All that white you're seeing, that's mold. And then we got black and green, and there's all kinds of mold and nasty mildew and stuff under there. Here's what I got to say, though. Aside from hooking the battery up and seeing if this little computer board lights up, I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'll go hook up the battery. I'm finished, man. <laughs> <laughs> We've been at this for hours. Quite a while. Hours. And... Hey, you're missing your birthday I, I I am. I'm, I'm absolutely exhausted, man. Like, I am just... I feel like someone beat me with that metal rod wherever it went to. So let's see if his little computer module yeah, let me go over. fires up. And then and then we're going to call it a day. Okay, we got the keys. Let's see if our little let's see if our little module there's a little red light on it there. Hopefully it comes on and tells us that something's trying to work. Uh oh. No. Does it have to be running? Maybe. Well, I guess let's fire it up. And make sure she's yeah she's in park. Of course she is. <sighs> Come to life. That is a hell no. Oh, air conditioning is on. Let's turn that off. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna say this little module right here is dead as a doornail because that little red light right there should be on and flashing. She's not doing anything. I cleaned all the all the connectors, everything under here. Like I've cleaned all this. It could be one of these relays too. I might need to get the part number off of them. Just go ahead and replace them. Very good possibility something's wrong with it. It's a Bosch 1397. All right. Well, oh, there's two more relays right there. Three, four. Four more relays. Ah, ah, ah. Ha, ha, ha. Whoa. Well, oh, that, this sucker. Woo. She gets you. Woo. She, <laughs> she'll get you. Good Lord. She's, she, woo. All right. Uh, as I said, guy, it's it's after eight o'clock. It's after eight o'clock now. 
I am missing my birthday. I am just absolutely exhausted and beat. So I think we'll just leave this thing wide open and let her kind of air out and I'll come back. I ain't picking none of this stuff up neither. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Normally I like to clean up the shop, but I'm just, I'm over it. There we go. We'll just close her up. What? Oh, the seal. We sealed that seal off. Oh, that's. That side. Is this broken? No. Oh, it was glued, and the glue came undone. Okay. All right. So this has got this has got to go back. That goes back under there. All I wanted to do was close the damn door. Why does it have to be so complicated? Let me just throw all that in there, maybe. There, perfect. Don't shut the trunk with your sunglasses there. I'm actually going to just leave the trunk open. We'll let all this stuff just kind of air out, do what it does. We can go home. Oh, sounds good. Thank you for your help today. Oh, you're more than welcome. If I you wish the outcome would have been a little more cheery. Well, you know, <laughs> things happen, as they say. I appreciate your help. If you guys appreciate Michael from Santa's Workshop, jump on over to his channel. Like I said earlier, I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. Go check him out. And if you enjoy this channel, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that thumbs up button because this was a lot of work. Until next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.